Welcome back. In this video we're going to take a quick look at using the compressor and the free filter to create a sub kick. A uh, sub kick can be used for all sorts of neat effects and it sounds good in just about any musical genre. If you're a hip hop or a electronic music producer you know how important it is to be able to drop in a fat bass drum every now and then to rattle the speakers or if you're into rock the kick drum thud sometimes isn't enough and you really need something to uh, hit the listener with some power. Now this is a fairly simple example. You'll need to adjust some settings to suit your project and would also recommend listening to this example on a set of monitors or headphones that can deliver frequencies between 40 and 80 Hertz. Otherwise you might not hear the bass frequency, bass sounds. So to start with, I went ahead and loaded a kick sample. I'll just go ahead and play that. So you hear in that example, it has a decent hit to it and a bit of top end. Now we want to add some bottom end. So what we'll do is on channel number one, we'll go ahead and add an instance of the free filter. And also I want to go ahead and add an instance of the uh, compressor. I'm going to leave the compressor turned off for right now. And we'll just work with the uh, filter to begin with. Now to start, I want to set the free filter to a high pass filter. And then I also want to start out, we'll put the frequency down to about 60. And then I want the Q turned all the way up for right now. And also just on the uh, EQ down here, I just want to put a small bump right around 50. And that's going to pick up the uh, natural bass sound. Now I'll play this example and you can hear as I adjust the frequency down the sub kick starts falling into place. Then we'll come back through and I'll work with the compressor a little bit. And now what we'll do is turn the compressor on and I'll adjust the settings as the example plays and then we'll discuss what was changed and why. So we hear how the kick is now emanating a sub-frequency and is also being carried out by the compressor. We changed the threshold to a fairly low setting and the ratio to a higher one in order to capture the whole sample and force the volume into a tighter space as the entire sample plays. We set the attack and release to allow for the hit of the sample to still come through without smearing the sound together. And the last thing that I want to do is again play the example and this time I'll adjust the frequency on the filter so that you can hear the difference in the sub frequencies across the spectrum. And this is what I was talking about when I was saying you'll have to adjust this to fit the project. In a sense using this you can tune the kick drum to the key of the sound and then you can add some harmonic balance in a percussion instrument where usually you just have to take what you can get with the sample.
So again, you can see how you can possibly tune the bass drum, and that might also be kind of cool to work with some automation techniques, go in and edit events and have the kick drum, you know, change tune in time with, you know, like a synth or a vocal line or something like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you can use this technique to enhance your music making experience. Again, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.